Hi, survivors. This is me, Purple reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on the, in this world obviously is not. Now, you guys, I come to y'all with a sense of urgency today because, you know, come March with the Freedom Convoy um, USA with the truckers, they're going to be fighting for our freedoms. These guys are just amazing. These, they, these guys are amazing. And we're going to be fighting with them. We're going to stop sitting back talking about it and sitting on our butts. And we're going to help them out. That's what we're here to do. We need to fight like hell, y'all. We are at war. Everybody talking about what's going on over there in uh, Ukraine and Russia. You know, we already know what's going to happen over there. But we we at war right here with our own powers to be. So I want to uh, go over some, some uh, things with you guys in regards to go ahead. Make sure you have a lot of water. Make sure you have a lot of food. Make sure you're growing a lot of food because a lot of stuff in the market I don't trust. But some of it we just got to take a risk and just go and make sure you're stacked up on these things. Until your harvest comes. So it says, March the 1st, 2022, please plan ahead and prepare your food pantries, water, gas, and any other needs. These truckers are going to be tied up and want you to be prepared. These truckers are planning to go across the country on March the 1st, 2022, to peacefully fight for our freedom, giving you some time to prepare your food, water, and fuel sources. They do not want you to think they're attacking the people. They are not. These great truckers are fighting for our freedom and health, standing the ground on the front lines for us, all at their own expense. They need our full help and cooperation. You don't need to be a trucker to participate. All are welcome to join in and help in any way. Just remember to keep it peaceful since they will try to make us the enemy. Warning, the shelves may be empty for some time. Think local, buy local, and grow local. Thank you to all truckers, whether you are leading in the convoy or keeping the needs of the people stopped. Bring it home, truckers. Freedom, their biggest load. So it's going to be starting March the 1st. Y'all make sure. We have war. It's game time. We've been talking about this for the last year. So it's game time. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Be prepared. I'm, I'm preparing to... Uh, I'm not putting out what I'm about to do. Let me watch myself. Sometimes I have to watch what I say because I, we can't let the enemies um, know. But I just want to say this. Let's give them our full support. Let's give them our full support. Just like that over there in Canada, you have people bringing them water, bringing them food, bringing them fuel. Let's do the same. Let's do the same. I'm asking you guys, please, please, please share this video. Y'all know I use don't ask y'all for no likes, for no comments, for no uh, share the video. I've just been trying to get the message out. But in getting the message out, that's, these are the steps that it's going to take. It's going to take for you guys, like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But you guys are going to have to share. You guys are going to have to like because when you like it, uh, YouTube will let other people know about it. And then give us a comment to help other people. So, and I'm going to do more than just put the videos out. I'm going to also be assisting in those areas that I just mentioned in regards to assisting those truckers. We have to fight like hell, y'all. This is our country. This is our country. Those people are supposed to work for us. Not the other way around. You know, we have our children coming up in this, in, in this, in this country, in this world. We have our grandchildren. We have ourselves as of now. We got to do something, y'all, because this is just, this, this is terrible. Uh, what's been going on, infringing on uh, uh, human rights, uh, infringing, allegedly, infringing on our health, allegedly, infri infringing on our freedom, allegedly, allegedly infringing on our mind. Because a lot of people on the verge of mental breakdowns out here and stressed out because you can't never get a breather. Every time you turn around, it's something else. Every single time you turn around, it's something else. We need to let them know you work for us. We don't work for you. We're sick of your mandates, allegedly. We're sick of you. We don't need you to govern our lives. We don't need you. We're going to get totally, become totally self reliant, totally get off this grid, totally stop going to their markets with this nasty food anyway. Since they want to do us the way they're do, they doing us, we're going, to do, we're going to do it right back. And this time, we're going to keep it like that. We're not going to go back to this system, you know. Then we'll have more for our future generations and establishing ourselves. Now, we know they're going to come up with something else, but we're going to be ready and we're going to be prepared for it. Put on your whole armor of God. Make sure you prayed up. Make sure you prepped up. Watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Purify your water before you use it. Keep surviving. It's time for war.